Good morning, crochet crafters. I've had a lot of requests to redo my chicken pot holder head. And if you're following along and you need to do the body, it's actually in green. So if you look for my chicken pot holder pattern, just remember that you should be using 100% cotton and a four USA or size E crochet hook. Now, if you're using a slightly larger or slightly smaller crochet hook, it's okay. Just bear in mind that your chicken pattern may be a little different than mine. And basically your body is working in the round. So it's any flat pattern working in the round will work. Now I did 13 rows. I think my green chicken has 11 because the hook is larger, but anywhere between 11 to 15 rows, depending on how large your hook is, I would suggest 13 for a size four. And for the chicken head, I'm gonna do a little slightly different pattern. I think it's gonna be much easier to follow. So I've done 13 rows and I'm going to cast on my crochet yarn and I'm gonna do 13 double crochets across. So let me show you what I mean. An easy way to get it back onto your work is just to slide your crochet hook through and on the back, like so, the back of your work, hold the two ends together, holding it still, pulling it through, and then taking the two ends, wrapping it around, and pulling it through, doing that single. So that's basically, now you're kind of working your tail back in. That's basically just casting it on. That doesn't count as a stitch. So we're gonna do 13 half double crochets and we're going to start the first one in that loop that we just did. So we're gonna wrap it around and we're gonna go back through, pull it through. Now with a double, you'd pull through two and then pull through two, but we're gonna wrap it around and pull through both. And if you've noticed, sorry about that if I went off camera, if you noticed I worked my tail in, I can just cut that little tag right there afterwards. So that's considered my first half double crochet I'm gonna go into the second loop and do another half double crochet. And if you need me to do that again, wrap it around, pull it through, and you've got three. And you're gonna wrap it around and you're gonna pull it through all three. That's a half double crochet. You're gonna do 13 of these. So I've got one, two, three, four, wrap it around, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So it's easy to remember, if you've done 13 rows, you just do 13 for the head, half double crochets. So I've got my 13 half double crochets here, and I'm going to chain one and turn my work. Now when I turn my work, I may want to go ahead and use my little craft scissor, if I can find that because I just don't want this to get in the way. So if you've worked your tail in, fine. If you haven't, you could sew it in later. A lot of people prefer to sew it in versus work it into their work. I just prefer to make it easier on myself. And whichever way you do with that, whichever method is perfectly fine. So what we're gonna do again is as we go across, we're just gonna do the same thing, another row of half double crochets all the way across. And again, this is a little different pattern for the head. I just believe that because it's an amigurumi pot holder and because the style is a single crochet, that I think that this pattern for the head is just going to be easier to follow and, and look a little cleaner as well. So we're doing, all we're doing is 13 you should be counting 13 across. 
And then we're gonna do what's called a half double crochet reduction. And it's very similar to just the single crochet reduction in stitches. And just make sure when you go get to that very last one, you pick up the front and back loop because it's very tight. And sometimes you can miss that front and back loop. It's easy to do, I've done it and I'm experienced. There you go. So you do a single, just a single crochet to finish off and you turn your work again. Now this is where we're going to start doing our reductions so that we're making our head. So to do a half double crochet reduction, you're still going to wrap it around and you're going to go through the front and back loop. And as you pull through, you would normally say, oh, that's a, that's a half double crochet, I'll finish that. No, no, no. What you wanna do is you wanna take your hook and put it through the last one and pull that through. So if you count, you've actually got one, two, three, four, on your hook and you're going to wrap it around and pull it through and as you've noticed now you've created that reduction now just do a single half double crochet and what i mean by that is just one double crochet i don't want to say the word single because i don't want to confuse you and i apologize if i did that so it's a half double crochet in each stitch until you get to the last two so if you're ahead of me which you might be, save those last two for a reduction. And I think this is gonna be a much easier head pattern and it will look nice as well. So see, that's already looking very nice. So there you are, you've got one, two, three left. Now, that last one kind of looks like it's starting to fold over, but that is the very last one. So what you're going to do is wrap it around pull it through, pull it through and you've got your three and then go into that last front and back loop, pull it through and you've got four. And that is a reduction, folks. And with that reduction, you can already tell that that's kind of circling around and making that head. Chain one, every time you get to the end, you're always gonna chain one and turn. That's kind of the rule of thumb for this. So if you're uh, confused or you want to start again just remember chain one and turn so what we're going to do now is we're going to just do you should have instead of 13 you'll have 11 now so if you want to do half double crochets across so this is one two three four five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and there's my eleventh, which is a little bit, again, trying to get the front. Be sure to pick up that front and back loop. I know it can be a little bit uh, tight because it's the end so I'm doing a single and I'm turning again so you can see already how that is creating a nice little head it's a little different than the other pattern it's but it I think it's more in keeping with this amigurumi style so I think it looks a little neater than having the uh, half double crochets uh, moving into the circle there so I think this is going to come out really nice all right so for the next one, you've had 11, and we're going to do one reduction. But what we're going to do is we're going to do five, uh, five half double crochets, and then we're going to reduce in the middle rather than the end. So for this one, you're going to go ahead and wrap it around and do your first. Again, these are all half double crochet stitches for this. And if you want to take a tutorial on how to do a half double crochet, I do have a tutorial on that at Lori's Handiwork. And that way that will give you that bake basic uh, ability to do that stitch. One, two, three, four. So I've done five. And what we're trying to do now is we're trying to, you know, hide where you're decreasing those stitches to make it look neat. 
So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and that after that fifth one, we're gonna do a reduction in right there. We're gonna wrap it around, pull it through, and you've got the three, and then pull it through that next one, and you've got four. And that gives it, again, a reduction, but now we're doing the reduction in the middle. So finish off the rest of that row with half double crochets in each one. And I've got that very last one, again, that's very tight. So even for me, I've been doing this a long time, you have to really be sure you pull the front and the back loop and chain one. So this is what it looks like from the back. This is what it looks like from the front. And you can see that little chicken head is really taken form. Now I have a little a little straggler right here, which most of the time I don't. So after I'm done with this pot holder, I'm gonna just take a little bit of thread and kind of work that back through because I don't know where this little loop came from. But if you make any mistakes and you do have a little straggler, you can always take your darning needle and take a little bit of yarn and kind of just tighten it up, button it up, at, put it back in. So. That's a little hint from me as well. All right, so what we're going to do is we decrease that stitch in the middle. So we are going to do a half double crochet after you've, hopefully you've chained one and you've turned your work, we're gonna do a half double crochet all the way, way across. And we're not reducing on every single line because you'd have a pinhead at the end if we did that. So we want to make a slow decrease. So we're actually making a nice sort of, uh, not round, I wouldn't say round, but it's almost round, chicken head where you're not having, and that. So the yarn here is four strands, and you're either working with four strands or two strands, and sometimes with cotton yarn, if it sticks or it's hot out, it's very humid here today. So what's happening is I'm having a little bit of a challenge with the yarn and you may too. So just remember, if you make a mistake, don't worry about it. Just redo it, take it out, redo it. This is not a race. A lot of people think, oh, I gotta hurry up and do this because she's just pause the video Stop the video and I had a tight, tight stitch there. I made that too tight at the end. So chain one, there you go. It's not looking too much like a pinhead yet. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to decrease the next stitch. So you can see, you're basically decreasing and then I decreased in the middle so that I didn't have these too, too much of a sharp edge moving into the head. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna decrease again. I'm gonna wrap around and I'm gonna go into my first one, come back out, go into my second one, and I've got four. That's a, that's a double crochet decrease. And there you go, that's one. And now I'm just gonna do a single, not a single, just a double, half double crochet. These are all half double crochets throughout. So if I've said anything like single or double, it's a half double crochet that we're doing to create this head. And this is going to be a very useful and simple pattern. So I have two at the end here. Again, that last loop's very tight, so we'll work it together. And actually, I'm not picking up this loop right here. It's actually this loop that's fallen back here that's hidden that I'm picking up. So you just have to remember when you're picking up the loops that you're picking up the right one and it's a consecutive look. Cause see if I put, picked up that loop, it would be the wrong one. And it's easy to do if you're, you're a new crocheter. So wrap it around, pull it through those last two. And again, this is kind of folded over. It's not this one, it's these two that you're picking up. See those two, those two loops and you're grabbing that yarn and pulling through. That's a decrease. You've got the four. And then you're pulling it through. 
So hopefully where you are is where I'm at. And that's pretty much going to be uh, almost the end of your chicken head. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to do one um, more chain one and turning it around. And we're going to do one more decrease. And then um, we're going to add the chicken, the red uh, fluffy chicken feathers on the top. So wrap it around, come in, pull through, and then go into the next one to do your decrease because this is now where we need to finish off the fine tune. See how that makes it nice, a nice little end there. And then we're gonna just do a half double, another half double. I'm hoping that this particular pattern is a lot easier for everybody to follow and it should be fun, not frustrating. Okay, so we have those last two again, but remember this pattern right here, down here, we wanna make sure we're pulling the right loops because they're kind of flopping over because they're tight. So wrap it around, pull it through, bring it through. See, I didn't grab this. And then, and then grab those last two loops right there, pull it through and decrease. Chain one. And so this is the front of my work, folks. So that's basically, I think that came out really nice. So what I would t tell you to do, which you can do or not do, is go ahead and cut your yarn. And you can do it the way you want. And I would just pull this through nice and easy. Pull it through, tighten it. And what I would do, and I'm going to do, but I'm not gonna do it on camera, so I'm just gonna take my darning needle and kind of work this back through this way. So then I've got this nice circle head. And I think that's gonna be a really nice chicken head, folks, that you can add your eyes and your beak and everything to based on my other videos. I hope that helps you out. And I hope you have a great day. And I will be doing a follow-up right now on how to add the chicken feathers to the head on this particular pattern. Thank you. Take care.